this video was not performed by professionals, please do not try this at home. Servus everybody, I did play yesterday, I tried recording a little bit, played as Iceland, did not go well. Also one thing, Iceland is not part of the important countries list. Do I need to say any more? Well, I will say that I'm not particularly surprised because it's a paradox game. Anyway, we are going to play as Finland, yeah. Sorry. And we are actually going to go with Iron Man mode today. And that's just my sanity. We are going to go for some Finnish neutrality research. We are going to go for the basic stuff. We are going to... Jesus, Merlin. We're going to build a few military factories. We are gonna need a lot of guns. Because we're playing as Finland. Our presidents have some weird quests. He wants less than 1% support for democratic and communist ideologies. If he doesn't have public trust, we lose PP, Stab, Wasboard, and our Sisu is getting weaker. I mean, let's look at this 25% division attack on core territory. Anti-democratic raids? I want to ban communism, but also we need to get a workhorse going. But I'm gonna get the workhorse first, who is too scared to show his face. But that's fine. I'm not forcing anybody. A little bit more PP, which eh. But also the daily support for Unaligned, so this is gonna be... Okay, never mind. That doesn't change anything. Merlin! Zobies! <laughs> this is just... <laughs> You're being such a moron right now. Not the keyboard! anti on Pact. We shall join it. Ooh, we don't have anything. It's just since we need excavation and construction for all of these focuses, I don't think it's really worth it to rush down there. I guess increasing military budget now. And then we need to buff the Finnish army. In my Iceland game, I've seen that. That is a long list of green stuff that you can get. Let's also check the... Okay, we are fighting in forests. So 30 widths. This is all forest. Okay, and up here 25. I'm gonna go for 15 width. The only stinky thing, combat support battalions are now no longer infantry battalions, so it costs more to change them. Sure, let's also entice the masses, gives us medium trust. Angry! Awesome. I entice you! Wow! Yay. More PP, more stab, and also more stab from Party Pop. Infantry plus 25% heart attack. I feel like going for all of the Finnish achievements at once is just adding an unnecessary complication to all of this. Oh, you don't even know. You couldn't understand any of this. There we go. Oh, why are non-aligned parties so cringe in Hearts of Iron? Can't do anything. Not a I don't think this is gonna work out if I look at the front. The Soviets have developed new technology! Shadow divisions! Ah, okay, we can just get Mannerheim. Appointed regent! <laughs> Being at peace will decrease public trust. <laughs> oh no, a few Soviets have just appeared on my border. I don't like this. I should have taken the Mannerheim line earlier, because all of this stuff is so good now. Winter Logistics Company, Support Battalion, interesting. You lot just exercise, we shoot one of those divisions. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. They switch the location of the turret and the uh, main armament. That's why I was confused for a second here. Oh, well, I guess that's our flame support tanks. Okay, we can ban fascism. 50% world fire. We need to do this one now before somebody is getting some funny ideas. We are also going to improve relations with you. Pressure on Germany. And I don't know if that helps. NAPs with all of the Baltics and the Nordics. I'm also gonna improve relations. I don't know if that helps. It probably does. German pressure towards Scandinavia. Okay, we have a non-aggression pact with Germany. Oh, uh, yeah, Soviets. Uh, come if you dare. Oh, yes. We got a bunch of allies now. Oh my lord, look at the faction that we just formed. <laughs> and Germany is not allowed to get Denmark now because of, because of our non-aggression pact. You might say, well, for one of the achievements, you are not allowed to join a faction. We have not joined a faction. We have created a faction. It's a loophole. And uh, allies, please get your men on the border. A bear is coming. Oh, the winter war. 
Ah. Uh, this might doom Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania, but right now, that's none of my business. We need to hold here. We need to hold hard. I'm just super scared of this one. Our snipers will become more deadly. We do have the infantry equipment and we don't have the men for it, so let's make them more effective. I will just have to cycle this division in. Okay, we are holding. Let's go down to four speed. <laughs> if we had the PP, we could go to total mob now and also extensive conscription. That would be super helpful. But also we don't have that huge of an industry, so it's not that big of a deal. And we are holding. Get in there, get in there, get in there. No, we did it. It cost us men. I forgot about that. 1200 men all getting defense on core territory and attack against major countries. I'm gonna take the manpower now. The sooner that we can get a few more men on the field, the more stable all of this is and the happier I will be. Because right now we're also not defending any port. Because we've what men? We have banned communism. We are getting communist pressure, but at some point this will go away. We are losing up here. All right, let's cycle in. Genuinely. I will drop a few divisions here. We have to play a little bit more aggressively in our defense. Cycle divisions. We will have to do this for the beginning of the war very extensively. I know you are going through tough times, but I have other things to worry about right now. Estonia will soon fall, which means Latvia will also fall and then Lithuania will also fall. Sweden is attacking, actually. <laughs> we have zero fort right now. Okay. And we have zero fort here. Okay. Sad. I hope that my allies are gonna do a few of those focuses. Let's drop you boys also and immediately go to the front line, please. We're pinning with this guy. This guy is moving in. Okay, made it. You are going in there. Great, 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 great. Yes, Swedish divisions. Why are they over here? Also, if we control them, they're not gonna ram into the Soviet lines. They will just stand somewhere. At least we have boats here. Wish you would send them here into the Gulf of Finland. You have to be very careful here. This is Ethiopia all over again. I heard a sound that I did not want to hear. Yep, this achievement is no longer valid, but I have made a few saves just in case. So if you are playing on Iron Man and you're doing some stupid achievements, you can go to your Documents for Rocks Interactive, Hotspire and 4, Save Games folder, copy this, insert it somewhere. We are just gonna continue playing on four speed and just taking a look at all of the red and keep the green in the corner of our eyes. Our divisions are just running out of strength, man. We need more manpower. I'm gonna dismiss a few of those just so we get manpower for our frontline divisions. Unless we get some additional forts going, we will just have to pick a guard and pray that the Soviets are not invading us here. Because if they do, they will drop like 10 divisions anyway and then we will have to garrison every single tile, not just port, because if we lose a single tile, then somebody crossed the finish line. We are getting to a point where I think I can just... I don't even have to look at this front anymore. He says, and immediately he sees a red bubble. Oh, get in there, boys! And naval invasion sound. In Sweden, ah, uh, but it's also not good. I mean, it's good for me because they can take Sweden for all I care, but they're not allowed to take the finish line. But it's also not good because that's another front and they will just, they will just steamroll through Sweden, I think. Don't you want to Barbarossa? Come on. Oh my God, they made it. They fought the Soviets back. One convoy from Manchuko. Uh, thank you. The shared focus trees. I think that's a super cool idea. Sweden? <laughs> You're actually navally invading Leningrad. <laughs> It's just 8k men, but at this point, I'll take anything I can get. We're in the positives. Right, let's add a few more divisions. Just in case naval invasions pop up. Sweden is freeing Estonia. <laughs> We're gonna be sneaky. Because if the Germans see that there's a bunch of units on the border, they will send more units on the border. And that's not gonna work for our strategy. Forget the bot time. You go here now. Sneak attack, kind of. It's not an attack, but we are sneaky. Cancel a pact. Get a new one. There we go. Easy. Now we just need to get back to the mainland. The Soviets have had enough. There is 12% stability. <laughs> That's why they've had enough. They're out of manpower. Sure, they're only on volunteer only, but come on. They get 15 weekly manpower. The new consumer goods works like this. Right now we have 10% consumer goods from Total Mo. Every other factor is just factor. So similar to recruitable pop factor, you have your recruitable population 10% and then you also have 10% pop factor. So 10% more of those 10%. We have 10% base, 10% less of those 10% from repurposed small industries, 20% more from Northern Defense Front Leader and so on and so forth. Germany, come on. I know you want to Baba Rosa all over his face. Oh my god. Wait, I'm not in, I'm not in Hanko. I thought I had a border here. Ah. Uh, 
I'll take it. I'm not going to complain, hey. Sweden is being really aggressive here with their naval invasions. They constantly lose, but they still are going for it. I respect it, but I don't think it's very smart. Oh, they took that island. At this point, I think that's a very long winter war. When is it time? 12 days. Cancel pact and a new one. Thank you. There we go. Ah, yes. The Germans have woken up from their slumber, which means we can now go on the offensive. You join, you get deployed. We add a few more units. Wait for some planning bonuses and then we are gonna go in. The Germans are getting a lot of war contribution very quickly. Like Stalingrad, encirclements. Right, we need to keep on pushing, please. For Greater Finland. Somebody did not agree such council. Yes, that's useless, but hey, at least somebody did the focus. There we go, we are Greater Finland. We have lost a bit of white. Just look at this. There we go, they are going in against Denmark. It is finally time. Oh, there's no way that always survives this. Let's go in against the Germans. Hey Denmark, I'm down to join. Again, in the Italian war on Ethiopia. Yes, of course. Oh, Latvia. <laughs> You're happy to see somebody, huh? You prick! Why did you become a puppet of the US? Not a unity is off the table now, folks. And also, we lost one of our guys that could have made focuses over here. Oh no! I forgot, there are multiple fronts here. We're dying. Allies, help! We've done nothing and two mages have declared war on us. I'm not sure that this is the smartest path you could have taken. There we go. Off a Milexus, off a Milexus. I need somebody storming up my house, man. If it's Uncle Sam, then so be it. <laughs> ah, defending without manpower, without industry, against the Germans and the Soviets at the same time. It's a bit tricky. Akim, have you heard of Vladivostok? I think you'll like it. There we go, no one crosses the finish line. Was a lot of waiting. I'll definitely take the standardized parts before anybody can steal them. You really thought that was a great idea, huh? You should probably think about that again. All right, quiet until network, and then let's do something sensible here. It's a bit hard to see which one you have unlocked, which one you can unlock. We'll become leader of the Nordic military industry. Wait, 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 wait. what does that mean? So they're just gonna steal my buffs. I should have read that. What have the chicks done to you? At least bomb Hamburg or Kiel. Oh fuck for all I care Vienna. But why Prague? They submitted because you left them alone to die. Just like you left me alone to die. Oh my god, I don't have that ball anymore. Scraping the barrel, let's go. I should have gotten field hospitals. Note to self, because I've played Iceland yesterday. When you play the other nations, research field hospitals and use them. Request Swedish assistance in war. A uh, bit late for that one. The Swedish government has responded negatively to our request for aid in the war against the Soviet Union. We like to have a little bit of fun here in the northern hemisphere. Can we please just kill Germany? 620 points. I do need to puppet Hungary. Can I get anybody's industry here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, I have an idea. I'm going to satellite Angola and Mozambique. Everybody goes to this front now. The hell Habsburg is here, huh? I feel like Germany should have much less land than this. But hey, at least we contested Finland on Angola after they were declared war on by Germany and the Soviets. Peaceful reunification of Spain. Are you sure? So how are my puppets looking? Bro, why do you not have manpower? That is also where I would look for Portugal on the map. Well, that's technically true. What? <laughs> this is the first time that I've seen this. Don't you feel stupid now, huh? You also have infantry template 9. It's the exact same thing. Let's train a bunch in Hungary. Look at that, we're getting an army together. Ah, I have an entire stack. Can you imagine that? We've mobilized 42% of the Finnish population. So, uh, we now need to puppet a bunch of stuff. I think I'm gonna make it easier on me. Just get all of the Soviets. I say and I have to click every single tile. Ah, we do need Sweden and Norway for the lone wolf. Kick Sweden from the faction and justify on them for no button. France is guaranteeing them. My brain is so fucking huge. It should be a crime. Remove the front line and fall back immediately. Okay, the Soviets have retaken course. Now we need to kick Norway. We need to justify for retake course. Now the Soviets are gone. That's not gonna work then. 
I don't want to fight the allies. <laughs> I should have just read the title of the video. I have to fight the allies regardless. God damn it! I suddenly remember why I don't like going for Hearts of Iron 4 achievements. Why do we need calls on Sweden and Norway, man? One thing that's definitely gonna suck if we go to war with the allies now. The borders are absolute garbage. I'm gonna do the sensible thing here. Turkmenistan. This way we don't have to man the border with Iran. I shouldn't be able to release Bulgaria. Oh no, I can release the Legionnaires Bulgaria. There we go. Just draw a front line here. I think I'm also gonna release the Far Eastern Republic. Now Siberia is safe. All of this land is safe. We could also release Romania. Let's do it. I didn't know it at the time, but this was probably the most significant play of the playthrough. We could also release Poland and Czechoslovakia. There we go. With that, another chunk of the front has been stabilized, which means we can worry about all of these things once we want to. Let's just release Ukraine. It was one million people that we just lost. I'm also just gonna say goodbye to Norway and Sweden. The Finnish onion has been born. We can now do a collaboration government on the US. God, switching production lines is so cringe now. Let's hope for the best. I don't have a navy, but maybe the AI is being stupid. I didn't call my allies in. Oh, they're fighting my garrison divisions. <laughs> We are not gonna get this one, that's fine. The entire army group needs to go over to the Americas right the fuck now. Yeah, all of our convoys are just getting shredded now. Can I just say, no, I'd rather not. You are just there to defend ports because I'm not taking this crap again with America invading behind us. Oh, Jesus, I hear a naval invasion sound every other second. Who's justifying? Bulgaria is justifying against Bug. You're a puppet, my guy. Bulgaria is a puppet. Cannot declare wars. Bulgaria is justifying war goals against Bulgaria. No, we lost a tile. Because there were nine divisions in this one. <sighs> That's fine. It was just a Russian tile. I still have 200 of those. Seriously, it's just... Dude. 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 One thing I probably should have done is release Mongolia for the Chinese border. God, why are you so slow? You don't have supply. Yes, you're getting convoy... You're not even getting convoy raided, man. Sony into truck truck supply. We should have enough trucks. Germany still has 5 million manpower. Hungary might become a problem. I might not be able to annex them. Oh, well, they might just break free. You can go defend Leningrad. I think I'm gonna turn the hearts of Iron sounds off in a second. Hey, I'm just going insane. Took you that long to notice? Oh no, China's gonna do something stupid now. Okay, progress. Sure. <laughs> Just gonna dump a few convoys in order to get destroyers. Probably gonna be crappy, but hey. Please do not declare war to it. And the monkey's paw curls. UK has lost 1 million, Canada 400k, Turkey 1.5 million, the US 5.4 million. Turkey is on scraping the barrel and doesn't have manpower anymore. An end is in sight. It's gonna take me until like 1959. <laughs> Oh no, you don't have infantry template 9. America, this is not how this works, man. You can't win the war like that. <sighs> What's about time that you did it for America? UK is also on scraping the barrel. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use the naval invasion sound as my alarm clock at some point. I'm sorry, Poland. So long as you have manpower, I will have to make use of it. Tanks are prepared. They can attack. Ooh, yes. They are steaming. Oh, the tanks, they are. They are doing what they are supposed to do, which is be fast, be strong. Lakat Matatak. Perkele, perkele. The six modern tank divisions that could come on. Oh, we're getting out of it. What just happened to my manpower? We just lost 500k somewhere. Pocket is closed. Let's switch doctrines right the fuck now. Still gonna need a little bit more until we get 2%, but once we have that, that's the biggest hurdle right now. Survive. Why did they never call Malaya in against us? It's getting very dicey. 
Now we can wait a little bit. This front should stabilize. We can integrate Bulgaria. Sure. There's no real point to it though, because uh, Bulgaria killed itself. 22.77 million right now. Ah, it was almost 1 million. I'm not gonna stop until every last one of you is dead. And I still want these two, four stupid achievements. And we'll have to bomb the... <laughs> we'll have to bomb the UK Navy at some point. Oh shit, man. There we go. I might as well get a few naval bombers already. Infantry expert, that's uh, about time. Oh, uh, there's nobody here to defend the Mexicans. Okay, I'm gonna go for another funky one here, I think. And there we go. Yes, Mexico is out of the war. This is almost looking like I can conjure something out of America here. Oh, this is... This is so risky. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. And uh, let's make another push with the tanks here because nobody is on the front. Could also be because I just encircled like 60 divisions. Oh, look at that. There's pretty much no Americans left on this front. And once America caps, we get a bunch of manpower back. Apart from the fact that I murdered most of the population. Because of our 100% compliance on them. That is, if it works. Because sometimes you also don't get any compliance. Republic of China Shandia! You don't want me to have fun, do you? I was just enjoying myself for a moment there. I was like, yeah, this is looking fine. Well, I guess I can also transfer those divisions. Oh, it's the Chinese border as well. That means we have to man five front lines. Because of mountain. I should have just released Mongolia. Yo, my tanks are doing something very funny. Not sure I agree with that. We probably have to cap China now. But we can get Chinese manpower. America is out. <laughs> Unlimited conscription. Is there even a point pushing into here and encircling Chinese divisions? They have 900. Where did you come from? The most important one now. Collaboration governments in China. My heavy cruiser's gone. The heavy cruiser that I designed earlier is gone. Oh, you can shift click. Shift click is you're not using MIOs. Uh, some of these provinces don't have divisions in them. Why? <laughs> That's not how puppets work, my friend. Oh, I hate Romania. <laughs> You're not even in a faction! That makes no sense! They didn't even join the allies! Why did you leave, Rostov? Oh my god, we, s we made it. Where are you going? Why did you give yourself a frontier? That makes no sense! I don't think these are gonna perform very well. We stacked a few planes here. <laughs> Look at them! Look at them go! We're losing planes in the dozens, in the hundreds, but it doesn't matter. There we go, we still have 33,000 in stockpile, plus the 10k that we just deployed. 14k. Can you not all use the airports that I just built, please? I'm actually in a war, you're not. <laughs> look at the damage, man! I do like the new planes that we can build. Oh, would you look at that? The Americans are almost pushed out of Alaska. Oh my god, that would have been so good. Supply hub and... I was about to say, like, this one is pretty good, but this one is so good. Supply hub construction speed, railway construction speed, 15%. Oh, uh, naval bombers. Oh, actually, we are getting, we are getting more naval bombers. So <laughs> it's not even that bad. And then France, China, Germany, and the UK, probably. That's it, yeah. It's just France, Germany, UK, and China at this point. Let's deploy another 14k naval bombers. Oh, whew, we got a lot of ace pilots. <laughs> India is almost down from volunteer only. I fucking hate this game. China is an all adult serve. I'm scared now. Wait, I'm actually pushing you. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> that is super good. Extremely good even. Because that just split up Canada and the northern US. These units should freak out now. I think you're not supposed to play Hearts of Iron for this long because I'm just breaking the game. The UK is having a little bit of a political problem. Rule Britannia! Britannia rules the bottom of the sea. I can tell you that much. They did have 26k at some point. We have naval superiority. Winston Churchill was right. The best boat is a naval bomber. 
There we go, let's do this and then as always, when you land in the UK, micro the beginning a little bit. Boop! There are no Chinese in China, it's just Germans. We can now nuke everything that we need to nuke. Just for good measure, nuke London. This airbase destroys all of the planes. This one, this one. Frontline to destroy a few. To knock out half of their uh, units everywhere. Banzai! No, British Malaya is finally in the war against <laughs> <laughs> now that the UK is capped, it only took you 20 years. It looks like they really did something cool with naval invasions now. Because I, I don't know what your base capacity is, but it seems very fluid. It takes a lot longer, but you can just make so many more naval invasions. Plus, I just assigned these guys to this group. Boom, naval invasion goes up. I unassign them and boom, naval invasion goes down. Landed successfully. God. <laughs> 70 German divisions in this one tile. 50, 40, 40, 50. At this point, I can't even really fault the Allies for doing this. Sure, they lost 90 million men against my 7 million, but at some point, I will reach zero. Okay, America, I think it is time. You leave this continent. I'm even gonna provide you with a few gifts. Uh, it seems like nukes are kind of strong. Okay, for real. This is the final one. And now leave. And preferably never return. This is probably the second most important naval invasion of the game. The first one being against the US. And if we can pull this off, we might just end the war. Not end it, end it, because we still have to take out France, Germany. Italy. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of garrisons. Right now, speed is the name of the game. We need to take as much land as we can, as quickly as we can. We need to surprise the Chinese and hopefully just steal all of their manpower. China is sitting at 22 million losses right now. I'm sure we can make that go higher. Our manpower is already shooting up. <laughs> oh, they're getting desperate now. And they are still working on the Isonzo front. At least, the Isonzo front of this timeline. One thing that would be super cool to know is just knowing how many casualties a certain field marshal has dealt. Or, you know, like a seeing that in a region. Because I, I really want to know how much they lost in the Caucasus here. I have a certain tranquility looking at China right now. Just knowing what they've caused me the entire... All of the stuff. Like, if China didn't join, I'm pretty sure we would have already pieced out now. But look at that. Three million manpower! We have manpower! <laughs> I feel like every single time I see the Balkan tank, it's just it just gets worse and worse. I hope they never fix that. <laughs> Work complete. Look at that! China's fallen after 28 million men. Ah, uh, ready, uh, yes. We are back in the game. Now I can just start suckling on the sweet teat of China. I might have gone overboard. <laughs> Look at our equipment <laughs> stockpiles. Nothing's changed. You know what? I'll just try and encircle these, I guess. Encircle these nuts. More blood for the blood god. Encirclements for the encircle throne. We can now also switch away from our field hospitals again. And I'm actually gonna use Rangers. The 20% soft attack for battalion, uh, for line artillery. That sounds pretty strong. One fun thing to do would be to get one of those funny little haha -ha planes here. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry folks, but you are too late for that. I cast counter spell. And the Raj is disconnected from the rest. <laughs> Look at the battle plans. God, I love those modern tanks, man. This template and this design, well, it might not be perfect, but they are pushing so nicely here. Like butter through a knife. <laughs> look at the range of the funny plane. That should convince you to leave, Cairo. Does not look like it worked. Let's try it again. Let's try it again until they learn. Let's try it again. There we go. There's no strength left in those divisions. We just had to turn the sewers into a wasteland, but hey, nukes don't affect the canal. So much is falling like a house of dominoes. All right, just keep on building air bases everywhere. I'm not really interested in landing here and staying here. Netherlands, 
Actually, I have reduced uh, division sizes, so... Yeah, okay, and I see why. <laughs> Probably no manpower at all left. Main goal, just knock the Dutch and the Belgians out. Oh, well, we're here, we might as well take out Luxembourg. They have a whole zero divisions. I wonder if Adenauer is starting to sweat now. I really like that you gave up that border. This Spain is gone, and I have to immediately do the front line again. And all of France is gone. Didn't think I would be taking out South America. Uh, so <laughs> okay, if I had to take out South America, we can easily take another 10 years on top of that timer. But I really didn't think I had to take out South Africa. You can join the Finnish French War. I will also reward you with a bit of Africa for your brave joining of the war. And I will even support you. I will build supply hubs because we're in Africa. It's all a desert anyway, so might as well make it a little bit more livable by adding supply hubs. Sorry, Estonia, but I have a claim on you. <laughs> the Allies are trying to go through Latvia, but I build a wall. 30,000 war score from Hungary. Sweden, I'm sorry, but you are led by SRP. I never really liked that program anyway. Look at Hungary! <laughs> Hey, no way, I have a joke for you. Your existence! <laughs> I'm just gonna send Hungary one million trucks. Uh... Why? I just gave you autonomy by giving you send. I have found the overflow cap. We send them more, they will get less autonomy. The most autonomy you can reduce is around 21,470. After that it overflows and you will increase the autonomy of your subject by sending them stuff. Do with that whatever you will. Why did that front line... What happened to this front? Also oh, here. Yeah. Austrian front line. <laughs> you know what? If they want to be encircled this badly then I'm gonna grant the wish. Hungary, it is time. You've served me well, but you will serve me better. If you do not exist. The Italian front is looking pathetic. Okay, Spain is capped, which means the only European nation that's left is Portugal. But we're not out of the war, which means we're gonna have to invade Australia. Potentially more. Let's take a look. Who is still up for resistance? It is lucky number Australia. Finally, I have prepared something here. My navy does not have enough range to drop in Australia. All right, let's do some island hopping then. Australia has 400 factories. It's 1970. The game is actually starting to lag now for me. I guess money really can't buy everything, huh? France, 0% stability, 0% war support, 0 convoys, 0% supply fulfillment. Doesn't that just tickle the German in me? I almost don't want it to end, you know? I spent the entire week editing this and playing this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do without this. I'll have to play Norway and Sweden and Denmark and Iceland again. Or just find something else to do, like a hobby. Ew. I shall never leave. I shall never leave this place. Japan has both. All right then. I still have a few air bases from the China war that we had a while ago. So let's just use all of those. No! <laughs> the Japanese divisions have arrived. If they didn't, then we would have gotten into Darwin. Just look at the chaos that I caused. You can just see where Poland was. You can see where Hungary was. And you can also see Czechoslovakia. <laughs> I really hope the naval invasion change was intended because I'm gonna have so much fun with this. <laughs> Uh, this one should be very fun to watch now. I even got a medal! Oh, my profile is gonna be so cool now! Ah, look at the D-Days. <laughs> Just a million Chinese Finnish speaking people appeared in Japan. And now, my favorite strat for attacking Japan. I've also played for so long that the AI flipped to the Kiwi Empire with a very happy man. One less country to worry about. There's nothing in your divisions. I didn't nuke here or anything. How did Iceland lose 200,000 men? That is half of the population that Iceland is nowadays. How did you do that? That is twice of the population that Iceland is supposed to have. There we go, I fixed the South American supply problem. But I can't fix your supply problem. Oh, I mean I can fix it one way. 
don't think you will like it. I just deleted a bunch of stuff. Might have been the units. Could also have been the stockpiles that were just lagging my game. I guess money really can buy everything, huh? I think it was the stockpiles because there's no overflow with the stockpiles anymore. It's probably has to check every single time that I produce another gun to not overflow and then it destroys the gun. And now it doesn't have to do all of these checks anymore. It can just be like, yeah, okay, gun, let's go. God, the game runs so smooth now. <laughs> okay, never mind. Just a little bit of revenge. Also, retribution for your stupid mustache. <laughs> they immediately run out of manpower. Then again, I also just dropped 30 nukes on them. Oh, that was easy. Why didn't I do this the first time? I might have deleted too many guns. Just to combat the lag a bit. Because the game that can't really catch up right now. Let's declare another war. Maybe that's gonna fix our stockpile deficit. It did not. I somehow created a black hole, man. I don't know where all of those guns are going. The allies are now a fascist faction because Australia is the faction leader and they flipped to fascism while being the faction leader. Just making sure that Cuba can't Guantanamo Bay us. Self-defense. I think this Japanese division is just a naked guy. Like not even multiple guys, just one naked guy because I can't even see the line for it. That's what you get for being a stupid sexy line, Chili. Uh, I guess I do have market access with Afghanistan, considering I own it. How did you do that? The US can only flip through the focus tree. It's so crazy that I'm just turning the entire world fascist, one nation at a time. You know, Denmark, I feel like you should have seen this coming. Bhutan still exists, so you may have thought that there was a little bit more time left. If I change this bomber a little bit more, I could probably nuke Europe from the US. Let's just see what your population has to say to this tactic of diplomacy. They can vote whether they like it or not. It does look to me like they want a second... Ah, yes, they wanted a second demonstration. Easy as cake. I also got a little bit bored and turned the entirety of South America into a supply hub. So the next time that I invade, I will just have a few brain cells spare. Although I think if I have to invade them, that's too late. I'm sorry, my friend, but the Bhutan game is gonna come another day. That should be everyone, which means we can now take out. In the meantime, we can take a look at the tallies we have done. 1,000 million damage, 174 million for 15.6 million, 2 million land combat damage, 91,000 damage, uh, 90, uh, yes, damage occupation, 91,000 from occupation, which honestly isn't that much, half a million planes, 26,000 ships. I don't think we can get higher. Well, I mean, we can get higher. I don't think I want to go higher than that because this isn't even the main objective. I want the achievements. I didn't want a world conquest, but we had to because the allies guaranteed Sweden and there's no peace out mechanics in Arts of Iron 4. That sound really just gave me a boner. One hundred forty thousand points. I hope I can take everything. 1983 non-aligned Finland world conquest that I didn't want to do. <laughs> My heart, man. <laughs> because the event, because the achievement didn't pop up. I was like, ah. But uh, yes, uh, that's lone wolf. Uh, great, greatest. Wo what is? Uh, I don't care. Wolf oh. achievement. Right, now two arms against tyranny. We didn't get that one because we had a faction that was too big. We can still unite Sami and we also need to unite the Uralic brothers. Yeah, our manpower is getting somewhere. Let us get our friend Denmark again under Knut Bach with a 1.5 recruitable pop, 5% 5% monthly pop. Yo, I'm gonna play fascist Denmark next. That sounds fun. Sure, 5% of 10 people is not really much. The Soviet problem should be 
resolved in a minute. There we go. Two arms against tyranny. As Finland have another Nordic in your faction and be stupid to the Soviets. Hungary. Estland. Himalayan Republic. Sami. Ostiak Vogul. National Republic. Mariel. Komi Republic. Karelia. Venezia. Ut Murtia. Euralic Brothers United. We have completely gutted our country, but hey, uh. At least it looks shit on the map. And through the power of time manipulation, I have managed to play as Sami. And ooh, what's what's that? Negotiate market access. Okay, we have done every stupid fucking bullshit crap achievement of Finland. And I can finally stop playing this game. The worst part about this. Ah, shit, I can't see the playthrough overview. I'll have to. The worst part about this is it took me two games between breaking the record that I set in a mega campaign. I said something along the lines of, ooh, my carrier profile is gonna be scuffed now. I'm never gonna break these records. And then I played in Stalingrad once, and then the DLC came out, I played as Finland, and pretty much every single one of these fucking records is broken. Objection! He said he played Iceland earlier. Yeah, and I also said that it didn't go well and I didn't finish that campaign. Oh, a week ago, I sat down and I wanted to just play Finland. Just a very chill Finland game. 1.4 million tanks built. And here we are. Actually only broke the offensive battles and the casualties by a wide margin. There we go, I get all of the all of my cool Tinder profile, Finland. 